kind of like me, uh, I don't know, blaming Leland for not being able to stand up against uh, five MMA fighters. Oh, he can. Oh, he can do it. He'll fuck him up, too. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Rags. The end's up, Corbin. I'm Matt, and I'm Rick. How you doing? You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for our juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Can't the Battle Squad. Bang! It's also on personal YouTube channels in the description below. It'd be nice to have a POTUS that's, you know, anyway. Hi. Old. And uh, <laughs> today we are doing a movie review. Did you end up watching a movie? Yes, I watched this really great movie. Uh, not one we're reviewing. Oh, okay. I just thought I'd let you talk about this one, and I'll just nod. Okay. Uh, I'll good. talk about Run Veer. Yeah, he was good. He was the best part about it. I agree. Uh, and then I'll just say negative stuff about South Indian films. <laughs> Rick's in a mood today. It's a joke, guys. Uh, it's a joke. <laughs> Based on prior... Anyway, never mind. Today, uh, we what are, we are doing a movie review. Shawshank Redemption? Shh, shh. I didn't even know how to say this. Shusha. Shusha. Uh, Shusha. Shawshank Redemption. Uh, it, it came out, I think, last week. It came out last week. Uh, it's... Uh, about it's the true face off story. true story of um the uh private who was a captain yeah uh oh vikram we're not gonna say diddly squat to spoil anything because it's a current so yeah yeah so uh, Vi well, vikram batra uh even though i think you all know this story he's he's <laughs> yeah i don't know we might we might be able to just go jump into it i think everybody literally knows this story yeah except us probably uh um what? I'm, I'm looking up. There's a particular war movie I wanted to make reference to um, that I'm. It's, that, give, go about your business. Anyways, uh, but uh, directed by say his name for me. Uh, yeah, directed by Vishnu Varden. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, and then uh, starring. Um, let's see here. Where is he? Uh, Siraj Malhotra and Kiara Advani. Who I th we've seen both of them, but only in a few things. Her, she was the one uh, Kabir Singh. Yes. Him, I think, was Kapoor and Sons? Kapoor yes, and Kapoor, and Sons. Sons. Kapoor and Sons. Yes. Um, and a, a few other people, but obviously he is portraying this real life person whom I think all you know about, we do not. Yes. Uh, so obviously our, our interpretation of this is going to be very different than yours. <laughs> you probably knew what was coming. We, outside of seeing Laksha, which was. This I, was an actual, yeah, spectacular way because you had told me this was a battle that happened just after Laksha. Yeah, and Laksha obviously is is kind of based on, but not really. It's not a Lots true similarities. Story. Yeah, um, but yeah, films overall very similar. Uh, so your initial thoughts, please. Loved the trailer, and we say all the time, don't judge a movie by its trailer. Our concern when we watched the trailer was. With a true story, are we going to get a real depiction, or is it going to be uber heroized, mm -hmm. as it were? I'm going to say we haven't seen a lot of military films, but we have seen a good handful. Mm -hmm. And of the military films we've seen, this is my favorite. Really? Yeah. Over Uri. Yep. Believe it or not, and I, that's the, that was my favorite until now. This one is my favorite, primarily due to the fact that I felt it got better as it kept going. It started off really good. I thought, I'll, I'll, I'll go into some of the things that I, I think merit it as being the one that just, and I'm Over talking, Uri. that one, like that. Interesting. Like that. Okay. Uh, and I'll explain, I'll explain why. Uh, so I, I think it's a, um, absolutely everybody should watch this. I think. One of its best merits is that it kind of takes the baton that Uri handed off mm -hmm. and really does, especially when it comes to script uh, and visual effects and, and sound effects. We'll get into all that stuff. But mm -hmm. I feel like this really takes military films in India to another level that like raises the bar and tells yeah. everybody else, if you're going to make military movies, this is the standard now. Yeah. I think you need to watch Uri again. Uh, because I, I, that I love film, doing. I think equally as good in terms of action and military, the way it, it does the military. Nothing wrong with the. Uh, I really like the. Re. 
but uh, this one I thought was a good, not great film. So I don't, I don't, I don't put it in the same level as Uri to me. Okay. Uh, I still think it's good. I think everybody should see it. Uh, there was just some issues that I had with this that I did not have with when I, when I saw. Cool. Her. And oh, I did think it was great that we did see Lakshar literally just days yeah. before because there was a lot of scenarios that I was like, I know exactly what they're they're right. talking about right, right. now. Um, it was, and it's almost actually formatted very similar very similar so i think this one took a lot of inspiration from lakshya well and i think vice um, versa uh because yeah. the story the creators of lakshya would have known even though this one was a true story that one was right based but, off of certain events and it wouldn't surprise me if the certain events were this it might be because yeah could have been it's very true um so let's just get into this let's talk about uh him in, in first place. I This is his most impressive performance, at least to oh, me. Oh, way obviously, more. I mean, Kapoor and Sons, we were like, like, he did okay. We, yeah, we were eh. Yeah, and I know he started in like with Ali in like student of the year. Right. Like, that's where like that's he, where he began. began. And yeah, I know he modeled. Um, and I, can, I can see that. Uh, but I think that's the only thing we saw him in, right? Outside of... Yeah, I think that's was, right. It was my, Kapoor and Sons. He was a trainee assistant. Uh, I saw that. Trainee assistant my name is director. And my name is Best Khan. part of my name is Kyle. What is that? I don't know. Uh, I've never even seen that before. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, definitely his best performance in, in the two that we've seen, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say much, but uh, from what I've read as well, other people who've seen more of his work say this is also his best performance. Okay. Um, yeah. But I thought he did a really good job. Um, and it, it kind of, same way Laksha, even though I, th I thought Laksha was a good, not great film. Uh, it's the same kind of issues I had when they did the flashbacks. Mm. Uh, it, it kind of, not exactly the same way because he wasn't portraying a teenager right. in this, like right. Rithik was trying to. But um, I think it helped a little more when uh, you actually saw and that the guy he was playing was a very kind of almost a very outgoing, bubbly kind of person. Mm -hmm. And so the normal stuff that I was like, that's... That's a little weird what you're doing there it was more of like I, th I just didn't know the guy i think okay um but that's that was my least favorite part when it got to the military stuff i loved all the military scenes so do you not is it in general that flashbacks just don't float your boat i think in general most like of prequels, the time I, like prequels <laughs> most of the time if like it's in a film not like a, a prequel like they're just telling a full-on story that's fine most of the time not always i i think it's a cop-out in the storytelling. In the storytelling. Okay, I get that. Um, so it's, it, it, it's usually just, it bugs me a little bit. I get that. Um, does, not always. There's times that it, it absolutely works and it's amazing. But more often than more not, often it than can not, tend to disappoint it, you. It, it disappoints me. Okay. But I thought he did a very, very good job, especially when he got into the mili his military. I'm kind of like Rithik did. The, the military aspects are by far the best part the, of this film. The action in this, and once again, the sound was fan freaking tastic they had some great military action scenes in this that i i thought were phenomenal i i thought they were too this this i would put this film it, like i did with uri uri when we saw that i thought wow i i now have a film from another country that i would watch on memorial day because it's very typical for a lot of americans i do this mm -hmm. on memorial day weekend i watch war films to remember the yeah. fallen so saving private ryan right at the top uh, another film, if you haven't seen it, uh, that this reminded me of a little bit because it's, it's kind of similar in terms of an operation and I'm not going to give anything else away, but there's a film called Lone Survivor and Mark Wahlberg is in it and it tells the true story of a Navy SEAL team led by Michael Murphy, who's mm -hmm. an American hero yeah. in very much the same vein that this man is a hero for India uh, in a different respect, but it happened in Afghanistan. Yeah. And uh, it's brain for you. It, it was yeah, good grief. The uh, and the whole the whole region that's now yeah. uneasy because yeah. of the anyway. Just wanted to mention that right. Yeah, obviously, it's um, a big topic. Well, yeah, hope for for some change. Anyway, that movie Lone Survivor is an, an equally incredible story about a true American military hero. And I felt like this film did that. I felt like he. Not only was really believable in the military aspects, as were as were his counterparts and the the military maneuvers, but in the script writing, I was really appreciative of the fact that a couple of things. First of all, first of all, there wasn't anything that didn't sound natural. Everything sounded natural. Everything sounded like it was meant to. I I really loved 
the back and forth with the Pakistani soldier, and he said, if you give us Manduri dicks, it will completely give everything over right now. Apparently that was true. Is that true? Like, apparently, like, I, I read some stuff. <laughs> That's fantastic. Apparently a lot of what he said was either from first-hand accounts or stuff like what he, he really actually said. said. So that's well, what I read. I don't know how true that is, but I heard especially that part was apparently somebody said that that actually happened with one, which well, I thought was hilarious. Hilarious. And that's, that's the thing I like about his portrayal and the script writing that supported it was the fact that it didn't do what I was afraid it would do. It didn't make him bigger than I think he really was in real life. In the same way that Lone Survivor depict Michael Murphy the way he really was. Mm -hmm. This is a true hero. I, you know, people might say, oh, it's not believable that he was running through the bullets that way. Yes, it is. I know many stories of soldiers who have done things that are all of like Rambo. Mm -hmm. In absolute, you read, like I've gone down to the uh, memorial uh, grave site yeah. and you read some of the things for people who've received the Medal of Honor, yeah. and it has the story of why they received the medal, and you're like, why isn't a movie made out of these guys? Mm -hmm. So, I what made me realize how much I really believed and liked him. Spoiler now. So if you haven't seen this, go see it. We're gonna give away spoilers. Mm -hmm. Was when she first. We're, we're gonna talk about her. <laughs> Second thing we've loved her in. But <laughs> when we're getting the flashbacks mm -hmm. at his funeral, yeah, I realized. Oh, I didn't realize how much I believed him and liked him in this, in this character. Did you cry? You bet I did. When she started to cry. I was fine because the one I got most attached to was her. Yeah. So when she came down and started to cry, I cried. I was I was mad. I was like, really, you guys? You just started without her for a while? I know, <laughs> that's, right? That's, come on. And also, there were people on Twitter that said this movie would make me... It was nowhere near ever making me cry in this film. I you? No. Oh, yeah. I know. No, no. Uh, yeah, this <laughs> but I, when she came down and started crying, I was, I was done wondering because if I you, cared, if you would, I cared the cry. most about her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's talk about her. Uh, the first thing we ever saw her in was Kabir Singh. And you guys know we loved Kabir Singh. So and we loved her. And she was a great part of that. Huge contributor. Uh, that film. I thought she did such a good job in this as well. So I'd like to see a lot more of what she does. Gotta tell um, you, India, the, 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 it just seems like it's a non-stop flow Kira, of sorry, actresses. Let's say her name, sorry, so people know who yeah, we're talking Yeah, Kiara Advani. Um, the level of talent in the actresses in India is extraordinary because I can't rattle off a list of American actresses as fast as I can Indian actresses right now who I say are at the top of their game. British actresses, yes. American actresses? No. I can rattle off 10 Indian actresses who are at the top of their game right now. And she's she's one of them proving it. So I'm trying to think of uh, American actresses. I could probably think of a good amount. Um, but yeah. It was taking you a while to realize that. Well, I was trying to do 10. Yeah. <laughs> I have to think about it with India too. I know uh, Radhika. Uh, <laughs> You know, I love Radhika. We just, Mimi, we just were so impressed and, uh, with... What's her name? Creedy, right? Creedy, yeah, Creedy. Creedy. Name, yeah, she did, she did a great job as well. Creedy. I mean, I could rattle them off. Uh, Majority Dixit. Yeah. Uh, great line. Shostika. Uh, <laughs> yes. Kalki. Um, anyways. But yeah, I thought she did a great, great job. I would love to see more of her work because she she's really authentic in what she does. She Absolutely. has great expressive eyes. I believe I she loved him. Uh-huh. Yep. Absolutely. They had a, a complicated relationship. Um, and it was... Super interesting. One of the one of my, my my issues with this film was the the score behind dialogue, especially in the flashbacks. Really? Uh, yes. Um, not not behind. There was actually some great score. Like when they were doing the like when it was him against like four people. There was like some hardcore rock music going yeah, on. Yeah, I like loved Ori level. Yeah, yeah, I love that. No, I'm talking like let's. There was once once when uh, it was him and another guy. They were in a car driving. And it was this big emotional score, like I'm supposed to be feeling something deep, and wow. it, it 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 bothered the shit out of me. It was very, wow. it was really. Mad. I have only praise for the team of. And it was. Did you see the credits? How many people were oh, yeah. involved with the music? I loved also the end when they actually showed us all the real people uh, as well. Some of the casting in this was 
actually incredible, incredible. in how like similar they were. But yes. yeah, that was probably my biggest gripe. And I that's I, fun. That's wild because the score for me was only good and yeah, didn't distract me. I might be the only one because I did talk to the group. I was like, did anybody else have a problem with the not the not the score? I'm not talking about the overall score. You mean moments? Moments where it was extremely overly emotional melodramatic behind something that wow, i was like i didn't get that at you all you probably shouldn't have music behind this right now see we felt that with drishim too yeah a lot i got some of that in see this. i got none of that in this um not not from the acting from the the choice of score choice yeah. of score in some parts interesting um it was it, it bothered me uh quite quite a bit um yeah, and th so that was probably my biggest gripe with this film okay and i might be the only one because i'm the only one that who's found currently that has that issue so fuck me i guess <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah that's one of my uh, bigger issues but yeah uh i think the cinematography and the stunt work on this oh stunt team uh I, I love talking because we don't get too often because obviously it's usually only in big action films or war films where you can talk about some of the stunt work i thought it did a Fantastic, Fantastic job. So did the visual effects team from Red Chili's, man. Obviously, uh, yeah, and we know that uh, Red Chili's is the best in terms of VFX in India and part, partially the world. They do do outsourcing to Hollywood and all that. And that's Shah Rukh Khan. Thank you, sir, for uh, spending time on VFX. Yes. Uh, we really appreciate we that. Uh, this is what I think everyone should do if their film is VFX heavy. Spend the money, take the time. So that it, we don't even notice that there are visual effects. Yes. I believe, I, I believe, and the, the, everything, like, and I love, one of the things I loved in it, it was, this was part of it was sound and visual effects. So we have at the beginning of the film, mm -hmm. what, we don't know it at the time necessarily, but at the beginning of the film, it's the final surge for what they think is going to be the very last point to, to capture. And they get ambushed from these guys that are hiding in secret, Right. And as they're hiding behind the rock, the guys who've been shot are still getting yeah. pelted. I loved, not that I love that, but I love that they put that in there. I did too. And the sound and the visuals, everything matched, looked real, and it was that way throughout. And I loved how they seamlessly brought us back to that moment without heavy-handedly going, we're back at the moment. Yeah. It was like we were in it and I went, oh, this is the beginning. Yeah. Wow, this is where we were at the beginning. And I also was so happy. Again, it reminds me so much of Lone Survivor. I felt like they didn't over glorify. Again, we're hoping you haven't, like, you've like seen it at this point. His martyrdom moment. When he sees the flag getting lifted up. I didn't like that part. I, I thought even if that didn't happen, I appreciate the fact that they didn't over heroify, if that's even a word, that moment. And I felt like his moment of seeing that wasn't overly dramatic, mm -hmm. wasn't overdone. Uh, it could have been so overdramatic and ruined it, and I felt like it did the exact opposite. I don't think it ruined it. I just didn't, I did not like that. Uh, I would have, if I was doing, I get it, why? I don't have a problem with, obviously, if you take a story of a real person or a real event, and you have to make it cinematic. I, I get that. Right, well, because the truth is they did take the top. Yeah. You, you, that happened. You have to. Because of him. And you have to make a film cinematic. It's there for entertainment, regardless of if it's a gruesome story or a, a hard story. You have to make it cinematic. So I don't have a problem with that. It's just it was <laughs> the fact that they he was he was dying. None of them stopped. They, they Instead, they went up there to show him the flag. It's just not how I would have done it. I would have preferred maybe a little... It's personal preference. It's fine if you liked it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I I would have preferred a little more subtlety in that. Like, he would have seen it going up. Like, somebody doing, like, in a different so you way. you would have preferred them to have hoisted it rather than held it. I guess. I don't know what I would have preferred. <laughs> but it's just, that's one of the ones that I was like, okay. I, I liked it. I get it, but it's not my taste. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah. I, I thought the uh, the visuals, the, the sound, sound um, VFX. By Red Chili's. Thank you, uh, Red Chili's. And the, I think this film, uh, I think he said it took him almost five years to complete this film. That doesn't, that doesn't surprise me. This is a really, it's one of the greatest things about cinema is it's such a collaborative effort that requires so many people doing so many things. Because in addition to all of that, some of the most unsung heroes are always the film editors. And the, the, the marriage between sound editing, sound mixing, mm -hmm. and editing. Yeah. 
And when you consider all the things that can go wrong, uh, everything just everything just worked. Everything just worked on the action sequences and the military you sequences. Like all the songs and everything. I liked all of the songs. I felt like they. I like the choice that's been made recently, where they don't have an actual musical number, but have a musical montage now. Mm -hmm. I also felt it was. It was nice to see as well. This is just a little bit more of a pushing of the envelope, as it were, compared to the history of Indian cinema, particularly Bollywood. I appreciated some subtle nuances they did with their relationship, where they made it a little bit more uh, dangerous and explicit without pushing it too far. They kissed a couple of times. They made it clear that they consummated their marriage, and she What's went that? to the, they went to she went to sit on his lap. And oh, you got to see, like, her thigh, which led a level of intimacy. Scandal. But it made it still, which I think was important for this film, it made it more accessible to a broader audience, which for me is the larger point of this, is the fact that this does, again, going back to Lone Survivor, mm -hmm. the importance of Lone Survivor is the fact that what it does is commemorate so that you never forget the heroes, and one hero in particular, particular Michael Murphy. Mm -hmm. And that's what this film does, is it... It solidifies and puts on celluloid forever the story of this man who needs to be remembered, not only in India, but I'm grateful that we got it. And again, I would put this in my list of films I'd watch every Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so is there any, we always, it never fails. Even if we love a review, hate a review, there's always something we miss and people are like, you didn't talk about, of course. So there's anything we didn't talk about. <laughs> there's probably a lot we didn't talk about. I mean, think about all the other supporting players. Yeah. Uh, I thought they all did really well. I thought they all did really well, including, like, we didn't talk about some of the dynamics relationally and the just the real subtle... I loved the way it was written, directed, and done by the man who plays her, her, dad. her dad. Yeah, I thought he did a great, great job. And when, it, was, it was complex, but also different from the other style that we've seen in Indian cinema. Yeah, and did... At first, I was actually shocked because six are such an accepting people mm -hmm. i was a little bit shocked that he wasn't as accepting mm -hmm. but okay so he's not accepting that happens a lot yeah and i loved without even saying a word and that's the beauty of film and even in stage is that you can say a million things without ever saying a word the fact that he just says to her there's a call for you and when she gets on and she hears who it is she looks back at her dad who not only gives her the call, but then gives her the privacy, mm -hmm. which is a 100% stamp of approval that says he approves of the relationship to her complete astonishment. I thought that was one of the best moments in yeah. the film. Yeah, I thought he did a great job, and I thought they did a good job with the, that whole relationship in terms of writing uh, and making it different from something. And it might be, the, I'm assuming it's what actually happened. Uh, right. And I also feel bad for her because she's still not married, and I feel like now if she wanted to get married one day, people would be upset with her. <laughs> That's yeah, but I, I get the feeling if she's the way she is in the film, she doesn't care. She might not. Yeah. I don't know her. She might never want to get married. And I, and I, I think, don't know. I, I just felt bad. I, I think she very much could be like a lot of people are, where it's like, uh, that was it for me. That was it. Yep. That was it's it. It's very possible. Yep. I don't know. I don't know her. Uh, that was just something that I was like, it would be sad because I feel like people, if she oh, wanted to, people would give her grief. I'm so glad I remembered this. What this movie did, remember I mentioned with Lakshya, I said it's one of the films that would want people to start to study a little bit more about the whole situation with the uh, Kashmir, right? Yeah. This one took me to the next level, and I'm actually about a half hour, 40 minutes into a two hour documentary about Jammu and Kashmir, mm. and all the way back from the Mughals, mm -hmm. all the way up through everything. And uh, it's, it, as you would expect, it's very, very complex, but it's also pretty darn simple. Mm -hmm. And it's a shame that this beautiful place with so many beautiful people has been put in the position it's been put in. Uh, most especially, what a surprise, by the British. Uh, but, there, but not just them, not just them. And I understand the level of patriotism and the sense of heroic... Uh, appreciation for Indian soldiers who, if you're just the, the little I'm learning about it, I'm in no way claiming to even know a lot about it or be an expert by far. But India, from its inception, when partition happened and everything, India has not been an aggressor. Um, and that part of the world for a long, long time was under sick control. And it's just, it's a shame that the partition happened, which was the major contributor is 
to what was going on in that region. And hopefully there's peace and that there isn't more bloodshed. But man, you Indians have, you have to be extraordinarily proud of your servicemen and women that do everything they can to defend India and Jammu and Kashmir. Yeah, absolutely. So let us know what else we need to know, please. Uh, and also why we're idiots, as you always do, <laughs> uh, in the comments below. And uh, let us know what the next film we should watch is down below. Thank you.